my best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space Welcome back, my my butterflies. How are y'all doing? Welcome back to Tommy's Carolina Homestead. So we are about to start some more seeds. Today is February 17th, and I've already labeled my spoon front. I got to label the other side with the date right here. I already cut three more bottles. As you can see, these are water bottles I'm recycling. I already have some in here that look like this. So you don't have to get rid of those bottles. So I'm going to show you. You're just going to go in with your knife and you're just going to cut. You're going to leave a little bit of space right here so that you can close it up like that. So now we're going to go over here, put some soil in. Fill it up because it's going to pack down just like that. And we're going to place it in our container. It's okay if you get some in the other side. This is going to save you money on buying some cups if you already got water bottles. So once you get those in, now that you've got those in, you're going to take your water however you're going to water it. It's up to you. This little sprayer came from Dollar General. $5. You're going to wet your soil. If you need to add more soil after you do it, that's fine. Pump it up again, and that's all you're doing, pumping it up and spraying. When you're doing the holes in them, you can do it before you put the soil in, which is how I did the other ones, or you can just do it like that. Just be careful not to uh, cut yourself. If your soil still feels a little dry Let's put a little bit more water in it now we're going to add our seeds the seeds we're adding today are cucumber this pack right here was only 50 cent i think i found this at maybe dollar tree or dollar general so this row right here is going to be cucumber in the back See if you can see down in there. You don't, you get all this bag, but these are like all the seeds you get. So, just like that. And I'm going to put two in each one. I'm not going to make a hole. I'm just going to lay it on there and then I'm going to tap it in with my finger. Hopefully, you can see that. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Notice I'm trying to give it as much space as I can. Even though this is a not a big container that I'm putting it in, you still kind of want to space it out. So that way when it's time to up plant to a bigger container before you take it out to your garden, you'll have room to untie those uh, roots up. So those two, and I still have a few in this, con in this package right here. Next, we are going to go ahead and do the squash. That way you can see the comparison. Now these are bigger seeds. And these are... So I'm gonna do the same thing, spread them out. I'm 
Now, all I'm going to do is take my finger, I'm gonna move this one over a little bit, and just press it down that far, cover it. Same thing. And if you find you need to add a little more soil to the top, that's fine. You could do that because we're going to add a little bit more water to it. So I tell you, you ain't noticed how the dead fish that's ain't there. No, because when I went down there last night, there was no dead fish. Oh, he's been dead for a while. Well, he must have been hiding. And then you're just going to. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt to the top. Use scissors. Hmm. Scissors. I use the knife. I need scissors. For what? In that white bin, please put it back because those are my scissors and I need them. Over there. Right there, babe. I've shared my scissors with you and they get lost. I found those and so I want to keep them. I used I used those from the garden. They were lost because you didn't put them back where you got it from. And that's all you have to do. And I'm gonna stick these over here under this grow light that's down here with this one. And I'll give you an update for the rest of them that I planted on the 13th because they have already started growing. S small update. You can see, got some greenery in there. That's cabbage. Now it takes your, your tomatoes and your peppers a little longer to sprout, but with the cabbage and the collards, because I'm noticing the cabbage and the collards are coming up like these are tomatoes nothing's happening and then over here we have the less that's already starting to come up cucumbers nothing yet peppers nothing yet collards right here they're starting to come up and yeah, those are collars. And then down there, nothing's coming up on those. Everything's going great. We're just going to slide that over and bring this one over. And I'll probably be doing more water bottles just to keep from buying because I want to do a lot more um, cucumbers and squash and tomatoes this year. Cause I actually want, and, and okra. I haven't planted my okra yet. That's gonna be the next thing that I do is the okra because I want to can, I want to be able to can my own okra tomatoes and corn. That's like my favorite food growing up. And I buy a lot of that, but I want to do my own. So we're gonna see how that works out. Y'all have a great, great day. And this is a, I guess I went ahead on and did the update for you. So happy, happy um, Sunday, because this will be out on Sunday. That's when I'll do my updates. And maybe I'll add to it a fresh one for Sunday. I'll add to this video. That way we'll see if it's grown even more. So I forgot. Also for these, when you're doing them like this, you can just put these up. I'm not going to tape it to hold any moisture in. I'm just gonna do it like that and let it just create its own little greenhouse on its own. Let's see. How awesome, how awesome. Let me adjust my light, give them some light over there. Okay, so you guys, you see my setup, right? Today is February 20th. Let's do this update. Dun, dun, dun. So y'all know that I planted these seeds on 
Let me show you. It's on the 13th. Y'all know I'm not good with dates. February 13th. These are my straight eight cucumbers. Today is the 20th. So that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Five days. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No, seven days. I'm talking about five days. But they actually came up in about six days. So excited! So excited! Five or six days. But today is day eight not even a full two weeks and look at the growth some cups have two seeds some cups have three all of those came up look at that one right there these are the straight eights these are the hot lemon right here and Lemon um, peppers take, well, any kind of peppers take a while to come up. Even tomatoes take a while to come up. But I got a surprise for y'all. So these over here are lemon cucumber. And they have also come up. I only did two in those and I did three in this one. And there's the third one right there. They look really good. These are my cabbage and of course, the more they grow, then I will, of course, um, separate them out of this container because you want them to grow great. I just kind of casted the seeds, so that's why you see a cluster. But these will all grow just fine, and I will take them out and separate them into their own container. Cabbage. So we're going to move on down. I was not expecting these tomatoes. These are cherry tomatoes and Big Daddy tomatoes. Big Daddy tomatoes are in the back. Um, I am noticing a little bit of the little gnats. So I'm going to get a container with some vinegar, water, and dish soap. And I'm going to sit it in here so it'll attract those to it. But y'all, I was not expecting tomatoes to come up this soon. These were also done on the 13th. As you can see right there. But they look good. Now, these have not come up yet. I just did, did these right here. And they are eggplant. I've never even had an eggplant before, but I always wanted to grow one. So I just did these on the 17th so i wasn't expecting anything with that moving over here and these are the eggplants right here so more things have come up overnight you can tell by the way <laughs> the soil looks so we have lettuce. These two rows right here are lettuce. And this row is a cucumber that I had left in that pack. I just wanted to get rid of them. The bell peppers have not come up yet. These right here are squash. One of them hasn't come up, so it might have been <clears throat> a bad seed. I don't know. These right here are collards. Georgia collards. Georgia collards. These are broccoli. And Swiss chard right here. Only a couple of those have come up. I did get those from the Dollar Tree, but that doesn't matter because some of my Dollar Tree stuff did come up. Uh, cabbage right here again and of course the carrots and I'm about to spray them because the soil is all you have to do is tap it it's dry so now that they are sprouting like this I will water them twice a day I'll have a blessed Sunday let me know in the comments what you're growing and how it's doing
So this right here was an apple juice bottle. I cleaned it out, cut it in half, put the soil in, wet it down, and added the seeds, wet it down again. So, big plants. 